and we are live hi guys and welcome to the video um it's not going to be a long one honest um i was going to share a couple of sales and then i thought i would do it live because it's so much easier hopefully a few people will pop in and we can have a chat uh peter and and now mark and amy are already in um like i say it's not many sales but they're all from jumble sales and that's what our sourcing has been all about recently but moving forward, as the boot sale season starts and round here, it kind of kicks off over the next few weeks. It's going to go back to being all about the boot sales. Um, so I thought I'd do a little mini roundup of um, recent jumble sale flips. Oh, hi, guys. A lot of people popping in. Stephen Padgham and Stephen Bennett. Cats, Rants, Panza, Hugh. Hi from South Wales, lovely part of the world. Karin, Emma, welcome. Game Boys are awesome. Hi, mate. Zaheer. Wow, lots of people popping in. So, yeah, that's the plan. It's not many sales, like I say, but I've, I've just had a really nice sale in that was um, a jumble sale pickup from two weeks back, I think. I did share that in a couple of the Facebook groups, so you may have seen that one already. And I thought I'd just lump together a bunch of jumble sale finds that have flipped over the last week or so. So that's all it's going to be. So welcome, everybody. Uh, we've got almost 50 people in, so we will kick off. Who's that, that said hi from Florida there? Duffer Cat. We're coming your way in a month or two. We're going to visit Florida. Cannot wait. Hello from Canada, says Alice. Alice Ops. Too bad I'm at work. Are you watching at work? That's cool. Bunking off. Right. Okay, so I'm going to screen share. And we'll run through a few of these sales. Um, there's a couple of them here to give you a little preview. Right, so screen share. Um, oh, Duffer Cat says, I know I'm 45 minutes from Orlando. Well, that's where we're going to be. We'll be in your neck of the woods. Okay, so the first sale is one that kind of prompted this video, really. I was sharing this on Facebook. And I thought, let's go live and share a few bits. Um, this I picked up. You may remember seeing it. Hang on. Look, I've just got to juggle my windows. You may remember seeing this when we shared it in a hall. I picked up a little stack of um, software, paid three pounds for the stack, which worked out roughly 50 pence each. And sorry, I'm juggling these windows about. Let me make it a bit bigger. Hey. So, yeah, this was great. Microsoft 7, um, I had it on 120, which somebody had achieved around the time I listed it, which was about two weeks ago. Um, it was getting views. It wasn't getting picked off. And I became a bit impatient. I relisted it again and knocked it down to 100, which from 50p <laughs> is still quite insane when you think about it. Um, and that got picked off uh, just earlier, like an hour or two ago. What time is it now? Half five. So, yeah, about an hour and a quarter ago. Um, so, needless to say, I am chuffed to bits with that one. That's what it is. The retail version of Windows 7 Ultimate. And there was some really nice bits in that pickup. Um, I think I mentioned the other day, I also picked up a Mac version of Age of Empires 3, which has gone into Amazon. Um, hasn't been booked in yet, but that's gone in at £70. And I sold, I think, a couple of other bits at £20 each so far. So, yeah, lovely pickup. Again, from the Jumble Sale. If you're in America or Canada, guys, a Jumble Sale is, I think, from what Krillin was telling me the other night, the equivalent of what you guys would call a rummage sale. Basically, everything is just piled up on tables and you just rummage. Uh, hi, Stephen, Steph. How are you doing? Uh, just reading in the chat. Um, thanks, Duffer Cat. Duffer Cat says, excited for you. Have a great trip. Yeah, we're all paid up now. We've we've got our park tickets. Um, we're going to do Universal and Disney. And yeah, really excited. We're hiring a car as well. So we're going to do a couple of little day trips out. Cannot wait um okay what does darren say there nice that seven still goes for that kind of money i know it's surprising really isn't it i mean 
yeah the brain boggles anyway so that's that windows 7 ultimate keep your eyes peeled for these um operating systems on mac or windows there's always a demand for them so that was the first one next one i think i shared this last weekend um i just took a punt on this because i'd seen somebody on youtube sharing that they'd done well with old recipe books for a start i think uh who was it um tat on the tine i think chris shared that he sold a vintage i think 1970s recipe book a while back for pretty good money and somebody else shared one of these sets of cards these are like recipe cards all laid out in a box this is as you can see in the title there marguerite let me just scroll down marguerite patton's 1967 recipe club cards so it's basically just a box of cards with recipes on. Um, not big money, but it, it was at a jumble sale, so it was always going to be cheap. I paid a pound for this. Kind of just took a punt on it, really. It had sat there for the whole jumble sale. Nobody was interested. So I snagged it. You can see there it's not in the best of condition, but then it is, well, if it's from the 60s, so it's like 40 odd years old. So when you consider that, it's not too bad, really, is it? I think it was complete. I didn't really have any way of knowing how many cards were in it, and there was no way I was counting them. There was probably like 500 cards in there. Quite worn, as you can see on the outside, but obviously there is a demand for these, and not big money, as you can see, £20 with 4 99 shipping. Um, but it worked, and it sold, and it only sat on the shelf for a week. So there you go. This is why I love jumble sales. You can take a chance on things, and yeah you're never going to lose much at jumble sale prices what was that someone says ooh cheddar moose is that <laughs> karin ooh cheddar moose where's the cheddar moose i can see a crab souffle ah cheese souffle plain omelet spanish omelet oh in the front there cheddar moose yeah i got you i'm not sure that sounds nice to be honest <laughs> um Okay, so next we have the Fujifilm. I don't think I shared this in my roundup recently. If I did, I apologize. Um, I was really chuffed with this. This was another jumble sale pickup from maybe a month ago. Um, it's it's like a Polaroid. Well, effect effectively, it is a Polaroid, as in it's an instant camera, but it's made by Fuji, and these are really sought after for events and weddings, that sort of thing. I think when I picked it up, I, I predicted up we'd get about 30, 35 for it. Um, in the end, I stuck it on, as you can see, for 50, free shipping. And yeah, it didn't stick around too long. That was another jumble sale pickup, as all of these are. And that was towards the end of the jumble sale. I had missed it on my scan round the first time. It was still sat there on the table right towards the end, about an hour or two into the jumble. And I grabbed it for 50 pence. And yeah, very chuffed with that. Um, I did some basic tests on it. It actually had a film in it, which had one uh, exposure, one frame left in it. So I actually snapped that uh, and all the mechanicals worked. The flash went off, etc. So I was happy to sell it as working. And yeah, it didn't stick around too long. So they're well worth looking for, as are the Polaroids. Most of the Polaroids have a value as well. You can stick those on eBay and do well on those. So, yep, very pleased with that. Let me just move this and have a look in the chat. Uh, Ryan, how will you resell whilst on holidays? We will put our eBay on holiday, as in switch it off. Well, we'll either do that or extend our dispatch time, which is what we did when we went to, um, when we last went to the Canary Islands, I think. Did we do that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just extended our dispatch time. And as orders were coming in, I was just emailing people to make sure they were understanding of the fact that there was an extra ex um, dispatch time and we were on holiday. So we'll probably do that again. And then, of course, Amazon, 99% of everything we sell on Amazon. Uh, we do FBA, so that will just carry on as normal. Um, Zaheer says, yeah, cheese rocks hard. Had some on toast just now. Nice. Okay, so that's that one. Next jumble sale flip. 
this I picked up only last week and I thought 30 pounds was pushing it but it was in really nice condition this it, these aren't the great pictures the greatest pictures because there was no natural light I was doing these late at night so I only had my um, little photography lights my pictures come out so much better if I've got natural light in the room as well they always look a little bit hazy and slightly out of focus but they did the trick as you can see the outer box had like paint splatters i had tried cleaning this it's actually still a little bit damp in this picture you may be able to see couldn't get all the paint splatters off but it looked a lot better than it did when it started but inside yeah it was lovely lovely condition i like to put a piece of paper in and type on it i thought i'd done a close-up of that ah i did a close-up you might be able to read it says tested and working but i'll oh, hold on there's more pictures here we go See, that shows how nice it is. That was the inside view. There you go. I like to do that. It just, that gives the buyer confidence that it's definitely working. And yeah, cool little picture. So there you can see that the body of this was in fantastic condition. It looked hardly used at all. Insides looked immaculate. So I stuck it on a little bit higher than what I thought I would probably achieve. And that went within the week for 30. So, yeah, happy with that. That's an Olympia Olympiette, if you want to try and remember what it was. This next one, now, when I when I um, dug this out from my solds to share, I wasn't sure if it was from a jumble sale. I remember sharing it at the time. I've had this kicking around for about a year. This is why I can't remember where I got it. And I've never got around to listing it. I've seen these on auction, sell for as low as a fiver um and it just seemed like junk really um but i revisited it had a look and it was i'm not even sure if it's ever been used if we go into the pictures you can see this software the back right hand corner there that's a software disc and that's still sealed and then bottom right are little stickers that haven't been peeled off the little cable in the middle is still sealed so I sold it as like new, basically. I don't think this was ever used. And I do have a memory of the guy that sold it to me. It was either, oh, perhaps it wasn't a jumble then. I can vaguely remember a guy selling it to me and saying that it was, it was unused. So I can't remember. It'll be in a video somewhere. Um, so this may not be a jumble sale pickup, but that's what I'm kind of remembering it as. <laughs> There's the back of it. So it's a Sony uh, Klee or clay i don't know how you say that it's c-l-i-e um minty fresh condition as you can see the screen didn't have a mark on it um but pretty much obsolete it's like a little palm pilot kind of personal organizer thing anyway finally stuck it on it owed me i'm pretty sure it owed me a fiver and i got 35 with shipping on this was the item i shared on the facebook touch chat group that i was having a backwards and forwards conversation with what felt like Yoda. Um, these cryptic messages kept coming in about how much discount I was going to give the guy. And he w I think it was just going through Google Translate. So it felt like I was conversing with, um, yeah, a Jedi Lord. Um, but yeah, in the end, somebody else bought it. So that was the end of that. Um, and finally, this was picked up last week. Um, I've sold a few of these. They are lethal, by the way. If you see these in a rummage box, just be careful. They have razor sharp blades on. It's a vegetable slicer and dicer. And they just look like cheap, tacky plastic rubbish. But they sell. Um, I think this was 50 pence. Can't remember that sort of money. Um, and I got $15.99 with $2.99 shipping, which covers the delivery by Royal Mail. So, yeah, don't pass these by. You will see them at, at car boot sales and at jumble sales. And, yeah, pick them up. But do be careful. I have spiked myself on these little things before. They are lethal. I just, I don't think I'd have the nerve to use one. <laughs> You'd slice your knuckles off or I would. So, yeah, anyway, gourmet, uh, they're sometimes uh, known as mandolin slices. I probably put, put that in my title. 
yeah, look, mandolin I put over here. Um, so yeah, that's it. As I said at the beginning, not many sales. I just thought I'd bundle a few jumble sale pickups together um, because we're coming to more into boot sale season. So I thought this will kind of round up. We've had a spell of jumble sales. Hold on, let me just stop screen share for a sec. Find the right window. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, we've had a spell of jumble sales recently. We've done like four or five in the last couple of months. And moving forward, it's going to be more about the boot sales for us. Not that I still need the stock. I'm still slowly plowing through the car parts. I've not been great at listing. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm just plodding along at my own pace. Um, but I'm going to struggle for space. Uh, I was chatting with Andrew about this moving forwards for this boot sale season. I think we're both going to try and concentrate more on FB. FBA stuff, F, F, uh, Amazon FBA stuff that we can just send away because I have no space in here. Um, there is a fair bit of space in the loft, believe it or not, but I would rather just get it turning over and send it off to Amazon. So we may try that for this boot sale season and just concentrate on toys, games, and media for Amazon. But that's easy to say. But once you're at a car boot sale and you see things, you know you can flip on eBay. It's hard to leave them behind. Okay, let's see what's going on in the chat. Richard Payne says, hi all, we'll watch later on the way home from post off, from post drop off and it's pouring down. It's been raining all day here. We went out on a, well, it's meant to be a 13 mile walk. We did 12.3 miles yesterday in our training marathon walk. And because it's been raining solidly for days on end here, a lot of the paths we were trying to walk down were just lakes. And it ruined our pace because we were having to tiptoe around these massive lakes, it felt like. And, yeah, we were slow. We were over 16 minutes a mile pace. Um, and Andrea's paying for it today. She's aching like crazy. Thankfully, touch wood, I'm okay. Don't know how I got away with it, but, yeah. Okay. Da, da, da. Let's just read a few bits in the chat, and then I'll wrap this one up. Uh, Simon Mitchell. Hi there, Simon. Oh, my parents had one of those. I've got it now. Really good for cutting veg. Yeah, just be careful with your fingers. Mind you, it does have that little thing that you hold that you can stab the vegetables with and then protect your fingers. But I just, I get a bit funny about sharp things and cutting your fingers. It makes my stomach flip. So I'm happy with just a knife. That's probably more dangerous thinking about it. But, you know, there you go. I'm waffling. Um, Karen, no class, just more. Anything 80s I like to grab. Yeah. If it looks vintage, you know somebody would like it. It will go in their kitchen or in their living room. Like We have a vaguely 70s themed living room. So certain colors, certain looks that we go for. John Brady, those things are lethal. There you go got caught a few times that's what i'm thinking you see uh oh it's just jumped down hold on hold on let me go back uh karen my tea is calling take care karen speak to you soon darren says what did you think of zahir's solo tat chat debut it was great i felt really bad letting him down we just had one of those complete brain farts because we'd had such a hectic weekend and then Monday just merged into that weekend. When it was Tuesday, I did everything I'd normally do on a Monday, as in I did a post office run. Andrea didn't go to Pilates, so it felt even more like a Monday because she goes to Pilates on a Tuesday. And I just and then we just went out for the walk. We got going and then went. It's Tuesday. Well, I happened to look at my phone and it would and it said on there it's Tuesday. I was like, oh okay. So I just rang her here and apologised. But yeah. So here is more than capable of uh, holding the fort on his own. Um, okay. No mean seller says, I remember my mum having one of the, these in the 80s, one of those slices, vicious kitchen utensil. There you go. You see, they are lethal. Yeah. All uh, right, let me scroll down. Uh, Simon, Nick, would you ever consider paying for storage elsewhere? We have done in the past. Um, I would rather keep it all contained here now. 
and just keep the overheads down. And I'm similar to Tom in some ways. The more storage I have, the more I'll just buy stuff and fill it up. So limiting ourselves to, I have this room, Andrea's office that you've probably seen in other videos, the spare room and the loft. And with all of those combined, I can cram an awful lot of stock in. So really I have ample here. Um, I did go around asking neighbors a while back when I was picking up the car parts hall, I did ask around to see if anyone had a garage they weren't using. Um, but everyone had their garages full of crap. <laughs> I even offered to help clear my neighbor over the road's garage um, of all his crap so I could rent it off him, but it didn't happen. But no, we have no plans at the moment. Um, okay. Oh. uh read hi nick bit of a personal question how much can be made a month selling on ebay with the effort you guys put in how long is a bit of string uh, we don't have a set monthly figure and there are people that make an awful lot more than us but there are a lot of people who work an awful lot harder we don't have any trouble making 100 pounds a day when you can buy an amazon and ebay um but it's taken us a long time to get to this point um, that won't happen overnight. But there are people that do 10 times that. Um, so, yeah, it's it's doable. Um, but I would suggest if you're working, I've said this many times, um, for those guys that are watching it are part time. If going full time is the goal, I would just build it up slowly in the background, which is what we did way back when. Um, before I quit my job and Andrea quit her job, we'd been building up our Amazon or Amazon and eBay to a point where we were confident. We weren't sure, but we were quite confident that we could cope with the bills. At that point, we were still renting. Um, but it's a big leap, but it is definitely possible, yeah. Um, Sam says, a large haul is definitely on my resale bucket list. At least you can be picky with what you pick up this boot sale season. Yeah, I think moving forward, we will be more selective. But I have said that before. <laughs> I really enjoy buying at boot sales and I find it it's just so much fun. So we shall see. It will be a good challenge. Bright and colourful Nick. Yeah, I love this top. You won't miss me in this. Nick, is that a boxed Wii behind you? Yes, it is. It's just sat there waiting to be tested. I picked up a Wii bundle. It was a local eBay snipe. Um, I've sold all the software off already. And I'm I'm already in profit on the whole deal. Um, I just need to test that. It's really nice condition, I think, from what I remember. Um, I would imagine that will go to Amazon, uh, and I'll price it up for Christmas. Okay, I'll just scroll to the end, read out a couple more bits, and leave you to the rest of your evening. Lex is in. Hi there, Lex. He says, yo, yo, everyone, just a quick hi, watching you all on the big telly while I sort through the crazy, sort through the crazy I bought today. The crazy what? I don't know what crazy stuff you've bought. Uh, Darren, how many miles will, will your next walk be? I think the next one is a shorter one, but it's, um, what do they call it? Like interval training or something like that? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so we're going to walk for a certain amount of time and then do a fast session and then walk again and then do so like interval training. I think that's what it's called. Andrew was explaining it to me, but but I think we're only doing six miles of that. Only six miles, can't believe I'm saying things like that now. Six miles feels like nothing all of a sudden. Um, hi, Nick. Imi says, when buying at car boots, what percentage markup prices do we need to be looking at when checking sold and completed? It very, people will go for different margins. With me, a bigger margin as possible. But with things that are easy to list, easy to package, like media, I will happily take a much smaller margin because you can list them in, in, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Packaging takes, you know, put it in a jiffy bag. So there's very little investment in time after the fact. Whereas, I don't know, this sort of stuff that you've got to do fairly detailed pictures of there'll be a fairly detailed description to go into it 
packaging that's probably got to go it's not very sturdy so that'll have to go in a box and be padded so it's quite a lot of work so that i would want a huge margin and that's what i got because i paid 50p and sold it for 16 pounds plus shipping um but i think you need to work that out for whatever whatever method you're going into because some ebay uh sellers some of the big guys music magpie is a great example there's one extreme where they take pennies their margins on some things but they sell millions of items there are other sellers who only have a few items in their inventory but they want hundreds of pounds profit on each item so you need to work out where you pitch yourself in that and, and work from there really there is no simple answer <laughs> um okay being selective is harder than it sounds it's true to hear it's hard to leave things behind that you know you could make money on that's the difficult thing I was chatting with andrew the other day about moving forward with with the clothing that she does she's trying and has been over the last month or two to pick up less but go for the higher value items but then when you see like a skirt you think you can sell for 10 or 12 pounds do you leave that there at 50p? Do you just go for coats and shoes that you might be able to make 30, 40 pounds on? It's not easy. Uh, Neil says, I tend to stick to pre-loved toys, trainers and shoes. I'd like to get into clothes, but they bore me to death. Same here, to be honest. Listing, picks, etc. I do need to widen my range of things to sell, though. It's difficult. It's difficult tying yourself down and working out what you enjoy doing. I've kind of ended up just going where it takes me kind of thing, you know, but yeah, clothing, I'm with you. I struggle with it. It's it, it's a lot of faff to list it. It takes a long time to list it, or at least to list it well, to get the photographs looking good, to get the item looking good in the first place, like ironing, cleaning, etc. And then listing, you got all the measurements. <sighs> okay, right um peter's got to go i've got to go as well i will leave you all there i hope those few little sales were interesting we love buying at jumble sales um and you can just as i said before you can experiment at jumble sale prices you can just experiment on random things like that little recipe box um because you'll very rarely pay more than 50p or a pound for an item at jumble sale <laughs> so anyway Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. I will see you soon. Take care and bye for now.